I wanted to do a quick shoe review on Ultras The One 2.5. This has been my racing shoe for the past several months. I've used it in everything from a 5K up to half marathon distance and set three PRs at three different distances. Um, I used these in a tra half trail, half marathon a few weeks ago and it was rainy and muddy and the terrain was rocky and these held up just great. My feet felt just fine after that race. Um, so I was very, very impressed to the point that I'm now considering these for my marathon, um, which I normally wasn't even considering. Um, I know some people have used these for marathon shoes and now I'm thinking maybe I can um, pull that off as well. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm considering that right now. I'm probably going to try them on one long um, training run just to make sure that my feet can um, withstand that kind of distance in these shoes. But um, that's kind of my plan for, for right now. Um, I'll go over some positives and negatives, I guess. Um, it's a very lightweight shoe. It's like 6.6 .6 ounces, I think, in a size 9 men's. Um, it's an extremely flexible shoe. Um, bends every which way. Um, the upper is really durable. It has been so far for me. These may look a little dirty, but that's to be understood for running a trail half marathon in them. But um, don't see any um, signs of fraying or anything. The upper looks really, really solid. Um, it's got a wide toe box that Ultra is known for. They call it their foot shape, um, which feels great. It gives you room to splay those toes out, and that really agrees with my feet. It's zero drop. Um, so that helps you kind of run on that forefoot, um, midfoot area a lot more. And um, I really love them. Um, they're probably my favorite shoes I've ever raced in um, up till now. Um, a couple, I guess, um, downsides. Um, it comes with these shoelaces that are extremely long for some reason. And so I swapped those out for these old Hoka um, second set of, of laces uh, that are more appropriately sized. So for whatever reason, they just put in very, very long shoelaces that you have to knot like three times in order not to have them flopping around. Um, the only other slightly negative thing I would say is that the outsole is mostly foam, as you can see, which is you know what helps it be as lightweight as it is. Um, but that contributes to a little bit more wear than you might otherwise have. But I really give them a pass on that because I consider this to be a racing shoe and you know not made for hundreds of training miles. Um, and so I can hardly hold that against them, um, especially at the price point. These are like $100 um, retail. And I got these for like 70 on Running Warehouse. And I think they're on sale again. So to me, um, they get a free pass on that just because it, it, you kind of, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, so, uh, I would highly recommend these. I give them an A as far as I'm concerned. Um, and yeah, I've set three PRs in these. I would definitely give them a try. Um, if I run these uh, at Grandma's Marathon, I'll report back and let you know how they held up. Um, once again, would recommend. Give it a shot. Thanks for watching.